The majority of Americans may see the 2022 Honda Civic as a trusty, but mundane economy offering, but that's a bad rap. Sport variants of the Honda Civic have been part of the company's North American offerings for nearly 40 years, dating way back to the nameplate's second generation. It all began in 1983 with the Honda Civic S hatchback. The i wasn't part of the name yet, as it didn't yet use electronic fuel injection, though it did come with a larger one. 5 liter engine than the standard one. 3, and it was visually denoted with red pinstriping and a red S badge. The 2022 Honda Civic C continues that tradition, this time around based on the 11th generation Civic. Honda told that, it choose to use the sedan as a basis, as the coupe is sadly dead, because the Civic Sport Touring and upcoming Civic Type R, already take on the hatchback form factor. Are you new to this channel? They hit that subscribe? Let me hit 100 subscribers from this video, please. The C sedan splits the difference, and gives buyers a sporty four-door option. Also, because the regular Civic sedan is CVT only, the Civic C gives sedan buyers the option of six-speed manual. In fact, as before, it's the only gearbox offered. Honda bills the 2022 Civic C as the best handling, and most fun to drive Civic C yet, and given the stellar performance of past examples those are big claims, some of the improvements come from the generational redesign across the Civic lineup, like a wheelbase that grows by 1. 4 inches to 107. 7. And 0. 5 inch wider track, torsional rigidity upped by 8%, and bending rigidity improved by 13%. These should result in a smoother ride and a more stable feel at speed. From that foundation, Honda adds more advances that are C-specific. There's unique tuning for the dampers, spring rates are 8% stiffer, and a hollow 27mm stabilizer bar should provide better cornering abilities. Steering feel, too, should see an improvement thanks to a 60% stiffer steering torsion bar. The current Civic Type R contributes some bushings as well. They're 79% stiffer than the X sedans. At the rear, it's a similar story. Upper and lower B arms are also plucked from the Type R, matched with an 18mm solid sway bar and springs that are 54% stiffer. This should make the Civic C an even more potent corner carving weapon than before. The engine remains a 1.5-liter turbocharged inline 4, but it's retuned for broader power curves. The horsepower drops from 205 at 5,700 revolutions per minute to an even. 200 at 6,000 revolutions per minute, Honda says the curve at the top end keeps peak output going longer to the 6,500 revolutions per minute redline. Peak torque stays the same at 192 pound-feet, but kicks in 300 revolutions per minute sooner, and keeps it at from 1,800 5,000 revolutions per minute. Thanks to turbo technology, the 2022 Civic C more than doubles the 91 horses and 93 pounds to foot of torque from the 1986 C, that Honda also displayed here in Signal Hill for some historical perspective, while maintaining a more usable power band. Throttle response should see a marked uptick as well, now that the C comes with a single mass flywheel that's 26% lighter, than the 10th generation's dual mass unit, resulting in 30% less inertia. Any worry of a fast dropping torque needle is mitigated by the fact that, the 6-speed now comes standard with a rev matching throttle blip from the Civic Type R. The gearbox is now topped by a short throw shifter reducing required movement by 10%. It also has a nice, solid Y feel at least while parked. Separating all that from the front wheels is a standard helical limited slip differential that should make it a real hoot to sling hard. The C also benefits from a throatier growl than run-of-the-mill Civics, as there is a new dual-coil silencer exhaust system that opens flow by 27% compared to the 2022 Civic Touring. When you give it gas, the numbers on the 7-inch digital instrument cluster talk light up as the needle sweeps its digital face. An active sound control system helps enhance the sound, if you're into that kind of thing. The 2022 Civic Sys driving modes have been upgraded as well. Sport mode now reduces the boost on the power steering in addition to making the throttle more responsive. It also turns off the automatic stop-start so you can be ready for launch. Perhaps more importantly, the car now adds an individual mode that allows you to personalize your steering and throttle settings to your own preferences. Visually, the changes are minimal. Honda told us it wanted to go back to a more subtle approach, where the C wasn't shouty but dropped just enough clues so those in the know would notice something special. It comes with a unique grille accented by a red C badge in the corner. 
The nose is actually shared with the Civic hatch, not the standard sedan, which Honda believes is a sportier look. It's a mostly clean design even if a bit bulbous at the front and with a little wrinkle by the C-pillar glass that is very distracting. Still, we're thankful they've eschewed the fake vents of its predecessor. Honda says it went through great lengths to make the A-pillars thin, and they do look that way from the outside. Once you're in, however, the mandated safety equipment still encroaches quite a bit into your field of vision. No one can ever go back to the 1986's incredible visibility, but at least they're not as chunky as on many of its competitors. A front spoiler lurks beneath the nose, while a visible black rear spoiler sits on the deck lid. Minor differences like gloss black side mirrors and window trim help distinguish the C. If that's not enough to set you apart, the C comes in an exclusive blazing orange pearl paint not available on lesser Civics. All Civic C models have 18-inch 10-spoke wheels finished in matte black rather than the standard gloss black, but the effect actually looks rather cheap. Cabin-wise, the C has a few exclusive interior touches, the most important of which is the more prominent bolstering of the front buckets in both upper and lower sections. They felt very nice while stationary at least, supportive but not enveloping, striking a good balance between sport and comfort. Honda embroidered C logos in them as well, and red contrast stitching can be found throughout the cabin. The dash has a red line encircling the hexagon vents, mimicking the red pinstripes from the original Civic S. These are nice touches, but we would pass on the plasticky plates surrounding the window switches if they weren't standard on the C. Some of the harder materials seemed like they would wear out quickly but we hope to be proven wrong. Aluminum pedals and the fact that they're three also set it apart from normal Civic sedans. All Civic C models get Honda's much improved 9-inch touchscreen standard, along with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A 12-speaker Bose Centerpoint 2 sound system feeds the cabin with surround stage digital signal processing, and it's all standard equipment for the C. The climate control continues to use physical knobs. On paper the Civic C seems like it will continue to do a fine job of offering an affordable sporty car for the masses. It has grown, weighing 46 pounds more than its forebearer for a total of 2, 952 pounds, and if we had the choice, we'd probably do without some bells and whistles like the fancy sound system or active sound enhancements for a purer driving experience. Still, in this market beggars can't be choosers, and Honda should be commended for offering something for as many Civic buyers as they can between the base and Type R.